Jesus warns against hypocrisy. But the greatest among you must be your servant, and whoever exalts himself shall be humbled, and whoever humbles himself shall be exalted. Matthew 23, 11 and 12. Jesus read people like books. He was never impressed by covers, but eagerly examined the contents of people's lives. He pointed out that fancy covers and elaborate facades often mask shameful stories. He gave those volumes scathing reviews, but he cherished raggedy covers that enclosed hearts of gold. His comparisons between lives had a masterful way of leaving the righteous with little reason for pride and the unrighteous with every reason for repentance and improvement. As we follow Jesus through personal encounters, we are invariably drawn into his audiences. Depending on the state of our continuously wandering souls, we recognize at times our need for his correction. His confrontations are his comforts. We see in his words that wise application of tone and truth that flow from someone that really cares. Our elaborate covers don't protect us and keeping them closed before God doesn't prevent his awareness of who we are. But willingly flinging them open before our Heavenly Father allows us to experience the intimacy of his fingers tracking the lines written on our lives. Nobody said it would be easy. But the greatest among you must be your servant. And whoever exalts himself shall be humbled. And whoever humbles himself shall be exalted. Again, Matthew 23, 11 and 12. We can only achieve perfect liberty and enjoy fellowship with Jesus when his command, his call to absolute discipleship is appreciated in its entirety. Only the man who follows the command of Jesus single-mindedly and unresistingly lets his yoke rest upon him, finds his burden easy, and under its gentle pressure receives the power to persevere in the right way. The command of Jesus is hard, unutterably hard for those who try to resist it. But for those who willingly submit, the yoke is easy and the burden is light. His commandments are not grievous. 1 John 5, 3. The commandment of Jesus is not a sort of spiritual shock treatment. Jesus asked nothing of us without giving us the strength to perform it. His commandment never seeks to destroy life, but to foster, to strengthen it, and to heal it. To strengthen it, to foster it, and to heal it. Nobody said it would be easy.